In this video, I continue to help my friend, mainly a Genshin player, play further into the Honkai story. And it's through this experience that I began to see the video game through a new lens, one that's more familiar with a certain type of game. So to continue my game education and to share what I think is a game that would interest those who likes anime like my friend, here's the second part of trying to get my friend to play Honkai. <laughs> If you missed the first part, the link is on the top right. Anyway, from last time, my friend has gotten past what many consider this log, which is the early Honkai story chapters. It's generally agreed upon that from chapter 7 onwards is where, to put it simply, sh hit the fan. It's when the good stuff appears, so that should mean a much easier time for my friend to enjoy the story, right? Well, it's a bit complicated. On the gameplay front, it's mostly fine. My friend has been going at it with trying to get his Mobius gear. He failed though, but it's the fight that counts. Wait man, you see this? This is more important than the damn cutscene. How am I supposed to get Mobius? However, he ran into a different kind of problems. Maybe it's about personal preferences, but my friend finds it hard to pay attention to what's going on because the lack of action taking place and the quote annoying stages. There's this one stage in the basement where there's a time limit in the conditions, which would be fine normally, but in this case where there are many texts you can read around the stage, it might cause some problems because while you are reading all these texts, the clock is still ticking. And if you take too long to take in all the details, Long range is bullshit. Oh! Well, yeah. He had a hard time reading through the huge valve text in between scarce action sequences. It seems to be something about the expectation you set before playing a game. In my friend's case, it's about holding the game to the standard that comes from playing another game from the same developer like Genshin. And it shows. When we play video games, we expect the game to engage us because that's why we play them. And in my friend's case, Honkai did not do a good job at it. It's about how the game eases you into the story. My friend gave an example of how Genshin does it. Genshin gives you a lot to do in between your journey. From point A to point B, there are many distractions to keep things from getting boring. And even during the quest line itself, you still get a lot of action. Now, I'm aware that both of these games belong in two different genres, so let's talk about that. I will describe Honkai as really a visual novel with extra steps. And to this, I ask you whether this sentence is what you thought of Honkai when you first got into it. For some, it couldn't be any further from the truth, and that's the difficulty my friend faced. While this was going on, I was trying to get my friend to finish Second Eruption. Safe to say that wasn't easy either. When you tell someone to read the manga to get into the story, it's a logical choice to do because reading the manga matters, but maybe a bit too much. This is because much of the early story is taught through them. Whether it's because of time constraints, budget, or for other reasons, much of the info are inaccessible to players who only play the game. Any reference to the manga the game makes will never get noticed in the eyes of these players. Since when did Mei had a heart bomb in her chest? How did Teresa instantly rally anti-entropy to her side when they are supposed to be enemies? Who and what is this dragon that suddenly appear without any introduction are some of the questions that will be unavoidable when the manga was not read beforehand. This might be the reason why Mahoyo is distancing themselves from releasing mangas to tell the game story in their newer titles. Honkai attracts a certain type of players which probably does not include my friend, but that doesn't mean the game is always unenjoyable for him. It's safe to say that Honkai has one of the most impressive looking cutscenes on the anime gacha market and it's probably what keeps many players going at the moment. Damn, she looks hot. Honkai prides itself with its aesthetics, which elevates the game's story to the next level. One might not initially care so much about the story, but once he or she gets to experience the top-notch animations the game has to offer, combined with just as good of a gameplay that usually preceded, perhaps that would be enough to motivate them to get past the more problematic parts. Dude, she looks so different. Oh, this is cool. Finally, the right person gets enough cutscenes. Imagine if someone skipped this. I would have. <laughs> you know what I don't understand? Otto is just like me. Just get all your minions to do the shit for you. Let them have the epic moments thinking that they're super cool. And then just live on while watching them all die. Oh, she now she dies. Wait, then, then did Himeko die? 
No, because plot. But is she dead or not? No, let's spoil it. You know, I will just skip everything. <laughs> so she doesn't die, right? Quote unquote missing. Quote unquote missing. Pain. Going forward, as Mihoyo always come up with new and exciting ways to tell the story in between all the chapters, and as my friend gets closer and closer to the newer chapters, which personally has been really enjoyable for me, I believe he will have a much easier time appreciating the game. And also because the next few chapters has his favorite Bronya and Sele, so it will definitely be easier. Perhaps Mihoyo should go back and polish out some rough edges for the early stages to ensure that newer players have an easier time. I'm aware that it has been done once before, but just as I showed you in this video, there's still much left to do. So if you agree with me, I want to know what are some of the things you would personally change for the early chapters up to chapter 9. That's it for now, have a great day. This cutscene ever. Better than the other ones. It's pretty good, right? This is probably the best scene I've seen out of Mihoyo, even through Genshin and through that shitty ass manga. <laughs> God damn, this is so good. Why can't they make more of this?